Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how to implement tank level control simulator by structured text programming and how to do the visualization in codices. Here you can see the goal of this project. We can select the auto manual mode, turn on and turn off the pump, open and close the discharge valve, change the set point and change the services or the dead zone. You see that the level present value oscillates around the set point uh, based on the hysteresis. For example, now the set point is 60 and the hysteresis is 10, so the level oscillates between 55 and 65. Okay, let's start programming. First, I define necessary global variables. I assign 50 to set point and 10 to hysteresis as a default value. Now I want to add function block to simulate charge and discharge dynamic. Charge and discharge commands are the inputs and the level value is the output for this function. I use billing function to produce periodic signal and use the rising edge to add or decrease level value. Uh, by this technique, you can change the charging or discharging rate.
here for charging mode, I add a 0.4 unit uh, to the level value every uh, 200 milliseconds and decrease 0.1 unit every 200 uh, milliseconds in discharge mode. These values are optional and on your choice. Uh, we have to consider that the level is between 0 to 100. The next function block is on off controller. Feedback set point and hysteresis are input variables and control signal that turns the pump on and off is the output. Uh, the method is easy if the feedback is bigger than set point plus hysteresis over 2, uh, turn off the pump and if the feedback is smaller than set point minus hysteresis over 2, uh, turn on the control signal. Now in PLC programming POU, uh, we have to instantiate the functions. First, the level simulator, the charge input is uh, pump coil, discharge is uh, discharge valve, and the level assigns to level present value. Uh, 
if the auto mode is active uh, then on off control function is called we have to assign inputs and the outputs and that's it the programming is done In the next video, we will do the visualization. Thanks for watching this video.